How to draw the moon in Illustrator. Let's start with a crater using the ellipse tool. Hold down shift to make a circle. Also hold option to have it originate from the center. We're going to use the copy, paste in place, and paste in back in this design. Go ahead and click copy. Option click drag to make a copy. Select both circles. Use Pathfinder, minus front. I drop the dark gray. This will be the crater wall. Paste in back the circle. I drop a lighter shade of gray, which will be the crater floor. Paste in place another circle. Make it just slightly bigger. Make it white and send to back. One last circle for the outer ring. A shade darker than white. Send to back. Select it and group. Scale it. Finally, paste in back a circle for the moon. Use the darker of the whites. A little bigger seems right. Duplicate it. Scale it from the side to get the right perspective. Duplicate it and rotate it 180 degrees so that the wall is on the far side because that is the one you would see from your perspective. Do this a few more times in each direction. Make some smaller ones. You can vary the size slightly. When you place a crater between two poles, just rotate it 45 degrees. Just remember to keep the wall side toward the edges of the moons. Change to the pencil tool. Let's add a little texture to the surface. Draw a shape with lots of curves. Connect to the other end. Fill your shape with black. Trim the shape to the circle using the Shape Builder tool. Make the opacity 3%. Send it to the back, but on top of the moon. Now we make the shadow. Pull the rectangle over half the circle. Trim off the edges with the Shape Builder tool. Using the Pen tool, add a point to the center. Click and drag to make it curve. Hold Shift to make the line straight and snap the top. Switch to the Direct Select tool. You can nudge it over with your left arrow key. Lower the opacity to 50%. Select All, Group It, and Save. And that's how you draw the moon in Illustrator. If you like this, please subscribe for future uploads.